Alright, what's up guys? Sneaky McP here. We are playing The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening on the Nintendo Switch. So just to recap, last time we just finished our dungeon over here in Kopanga Swamp. And we have been just told that we need to go to the prairie and find out what's, no, what's over there. So, I'm really excited to be able to share with you these wonderful games like this. So please drop a like on this video. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe already and help this channel grow so we can do more fun things like this. So anyways, without further ado, let's get into The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Here we go. Alright, let's see here. Hmm. So we were told, go to the prairie, go to the prairie. But now we can also pick up boulders, chuck those babies around. We also need to go and is there anything special up here? Oh, hey. Oh, but we've been up here, haven't we? Hmm. Oh, man, get him, Bow Wow. We have to take Bow Wow home, but while I'm exploring and stuff like that, I actually want to have Bow Wow with because it's, he's really convenient, obviously, because he just goes around and eats everybody. Where am I? Whew. Okay. Get him, Bow Wow. Oh, double kill. Nice. Oh, yeah? But watch yourselves. A lot of rupees. Ah, oh, there's the key to one of the next dungeons. Yeah. Love Link's voice. Oh hey. Okay, so we can't go down there until we start swimming, I believe. <laughs> yeah, and we can't go across there until we have the hook shot. I remember that much. I gotta cut all the grass, man. You never know what could be hiding in that. All right. I'm pretty sure this is gonna have something to do with uh, having, yeah. That's not a place you'd go in to, that's like what you come out from. Man, this music is so nostalgic. I love how it's been remade into some really, really good content. Ooh. I thought I hit that guy. It's alright, Bow Wow. Don't worry, we'll get you home, boy. But no one's gonna stop us. Look at that. Block. I've got the reflexes of a ninja. Don't all these moblins wish that they had one of these babies? A battle of their own. I feel like with these trees, I'm able, I should be able to, you know, bump into them and get something out of it. Oh yeah, Dompe Shack. Bring me any weird stones you find. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, let's go up here first. I mean, so many new things have opened up to us. There's a harpies I know we can go get right now. Ooh, nice one. Hmm, we still need bombs. So that we can do stuff in that first dungeon. We can't pick these up, right? Oops, I did not mean to do that. Uh, shoot. How about this? I feel like I can do some crazy diagonal jump. It's just harder to do with the joystick. Let's do this first. Alright, so let's think this through for a second. I can push this down just fine. And get, get all my merry way through here. But... 
That wouldn't be fun, right? We need to get to... Oh, hey, those decide to shoot fireballs at us now. That's fun. Hmm. I feel like I'm thinking way too hard about this. So I go like this. I go like this. Oh, I just literally ruined all my chances for that. What if I do this? Okay. Oh, bow out! You got me stuck, buddy. <laughs> Let's do this. Bow, are you a crazy man? We got the heart piece, that's what we came for. <laughs> it's actually really hard to do with Bow Wow. He, he, he uh, blocks some of the air that I can move to sometimes, which is kind of weird. And you would think that would not be the case because I can kind of walk through him a little bit, like on the outside. But if I hit him like right in the dead center, I, I guess I push him along. Ooh. What is that? Oh, what a weird object. There must be a somewhere to tackle this obstacle. Well, isn't that how all Zelda games work? <laughs> Ooh, hey! I think that's... yeah, okay, so this is something we've come to a little bit too early. But hey! We just got a piece early. Oh man, I'm so excited that it, it's been a long enough time that I, uh, since I've played this game so that it all feels actually fresh to me in a lot of ways. Okay. Woo! So some of it's, some of it I clearly, okay, I just delayed fall off. Some of it I clearly, re oh come on, clearly remember, but some of it I just don't. Which, I kind of like it that way, to be honest, because I've beaten the, the game whatever in this game probably like seven and eight times. Not that hard. But I always end up playing, I'm 33 years old, so I always end up playing it, you know, after it's been long enough that I forget most of all the little intricacies of it, so that way it feels new to me, and that way I have an opportunity to rediscover things again and have fun with it again. As opposed to just playing it continuously and having everything memorized. Hey, we found the owl. Hoot! The windfish sleeps long and dreamily in the egg above. When you play the eight instruments of sirens in front of the egg, he will awaken. This, my friend, is the only way for you to leave the island. Okay. Oops, one second here. Gotta plug this baby in. My controller is uh, running out of battery. Okay. Mount Tamarack. Let's go check out the egg. Oh wow, it's huge! Alright, Bella, let's go. Okay, so I want to pick up all the rocks I have never picked up before at least once. Oh, because of things like that. A secret seashell. Yes, it's three of them, I think. Okay. That tells us more of what we already know. Ooh, I totally hit that fish. Oh, okay, I guess he's immune to boulders. Actually, I think... Okay, so we put up all of that. We're almost halfway through everything. Bottle Grotto, we even got little marks now. That's kind of neat. This wasn't a thing before at all. You had to kind of run, wander around and hopefully find the place you needed to go. Very cool. Yeah, so we've got three. Three so far. Oh yes, this thing. Oh, there's some strange energy coming from here. You should take a closer look. Okay, let's do it.
now saving. What these are, I believe, is their warp points to other places across the map. So once you uncover more, and you step on one of the stones, it will just teleport you randomly to one of those uh, teleporters. That's my understanding, at least. I don't remember. Well there. Well, hey there. You got your other stuff squared away for right now? I got something interesting to show you. Follow me to the shack. Alright, Dumpy, let's go. Hey, there you are. I want to show you something interesting. You've gone poking into some of the ruins on this island, I can tell. I make little chambers based on those dungeons, put some chambers into the slab back there, and it turns into a real dungeon. How's that work, you ask? Who knows? But I want you to- but I want your help testing the limits of this thing. I want to hear about the dungeons you've seen. It inspires me to make new chambers for you. With the few chambers, you can make a basic- you can make basic dungeons. With a bunch, you can make complicated ones. See if you can use what you've got to finish the challenges I give you. Though you're not done once you finish arranging a dungeon, you've got to adventure through it too. I'm no designer though, and I'm no adventurer either. That's all up to you. I'll make the risk worth it. Impress me, and there's a treasure in it for you. You look like you've been through a lot, so sit down and tell me about it. I guess we're going to recount with him the dungeons that we've been to. You've got some new chambers. Slot them into the dungeon to see what's inside. What are you here for? Well, arrange. Let's see what, what it does here. Dungeon Arranging 101. I started this one already, so can you finish it? Just make a path from the entrance to the Nightmare's Lair, and there's gotta be... There's gotta be a step along the way for the treasure chest. If a chamber's got an exit, you have to connect it to another exit. So nobody wants an exit that goes nowhere. Well, that makes sense. Take chambers take, take chambers from the menu on the right with A, then slap them on the tiles to the left with A. A lot of times you'll want a chamber with a particular set of exits, so that's how I divided them up. You can flip through the list with L and R, okay? Interesting. I'm not one of the pass through though. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense to have it be like that, but okay. The Nightmare Keys always has to be the last treasure chest to open. Any extra chests around the dungeon will have rupees and such of them. Well, yeah, I don't want closed off rooms though. I want rooms that have... Oh, there we go. That's what I want. Interesting. Okay. Sometimes you think you're all set, but a chamber isn't turning from red to blue like it should. When that happens, press Y to check and see what the deal is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I want is not that. doing this right now. Partially because... I 
just kind of want to get to the story. Let's see. later. Especially when we have more tiles anyways, like it's kind of... Yeah. I'd rather do that stuff later. Like an after the story type thing. I don't want to take a, a bunch of time and do that at the moment. The Wasteland. There's gotta be something right in that, like a secret seashell with a shovel or something. Dumpy, Jack, the Strangers, Dungeon of the Mall. That is right. Let's just make sure we get all this area of grass just to be safe. So we'll have to actually re clear it. Oh, hey! Some strange energy is pouring from here. You should see what it does. I don't really want to. Okay, cool. You actually get to choose where you teleport to. That's good then. Give me that rupee. Our good old friend O'Reilly from the telephone booth. He's only a call away. Alright. Nothing in this grass. I mean we're supposed to be going to the prairie here anyways, and we were like right in that area. But we have to get we have to take um that while back. Okay, so let's think this through. Up. Down. I thought we'd have enough time to push it, so I guess not. We'll jump. Push. Push. Jump. Kill this. Lift. Boom, baby. Push. Wouldn't that be funny if that was a cracked piece of floor right there, too? Like, oh no, you just fall down. <laughs> Very nice, thank you. Okay, so this, this, lift that. Do, 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 do. A piece of heart, nice. We are. How close are we to the next heart? Oh, one more. I know of at least two more that we can get right now. Doesn't that guy look so crazy? He's got like a huge head, what, one more he's a crab, with like this huge head or brain thing, and then attached, oh, hey, bow wow, and then attached to, to his like brain is some wings, like it's so random. Oh hey, we are right by the village. We'll go there first. We'll take Bao home. Probably misses his family. Alright, come on Bow Wow. Your mom's gonna be so proud of you. You can tell her about all the people you ate and killed. It'll be a gruesome story. <laughs> I'm sure she'll love that. 
Ho ho ho, I really appreciate what you did for my poor precious Bow Wow. You are such a nice boy, how can I ever repay you? Actually, I know. Oh no. Smooch. She gave us a big kiss. You got a reward from Madame Meow Meow. Lucky. <laughs> so lucky. The face of Link's like, I don't know to be embarrassed, to be disgusted, or to be bashful. <laughs> Better be some better rewards here to these pots. Oh, guess not. Sneaky check the dresser. <laughs> yep, everything checks out. Same thing. Alright, there's no new dialogue there then. Hey, Bow Wow, buddy. Good times, huh? Thanks for helping me out. Old man, Uriah. Don't worry about me. Just breaking your stuff. Yeah, you like this game, buddy? Yeah, me too. Oh, there's a, oh, there's a block back there. You know what? We'll get to it later. Store at once. Ooh, 20? Can we go more than that? Okay, 30. There's this. Oh, uh, we need the deluxe shovel too. You can. You got a shovel. Now you can feel the joy of digging. All you have to do is set it to X or Y on the subscreen. Thanks. We're gonna feel the joy of digging. Oh man, I remember when I was looking for all the seashells back in the day. I literally sat in every single zone, one by one, as a little kid, and just sat there and dug up the dirt. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna make us do all that. Well, that's because I know I looked this up um, yesterday. There is a lot more seashells than there were originally in this game. And so, what I might just end up doing is when we get done with all the dungeons, we'll just go on the seashell hunt. And then I'll just check to see where the general area of them are. And uh, that way we save ourselves a lot of time, because that would be super time consuming. To do what I did back when I was little. But I had so much fun playing this game, I didn't even care, man. I literally dug every square in the entire map. I had so much fun doing it. <laughs> I loved it. I love this game so much. Woo! Oh yeah, dude, hearts. Sweet! Mm -hmm. Hey, Taran. I was hungry something fierce, so I went and got bananas at the beach. Sneaky, if you want some, you should go and get some. I have bananas. Oi. Hey, what did you do in my chest? Where did you learn to do such a thing? Oh, sorry, man. Bye. Alright, so let's actually, you know what, let's go to the first dungeon, and then we have bombs, and see what that chest was. Hopefully it's not something weird like, um, a block or whatever. Like, for Dompe's dungeon thing, I mean, I guess that'd be okay. But still. You know, you always hope for something more exciting, right? I do know, though, that with the shovel, if you see like little weird outcomes like that, you you do want to dig those up because there's usually something random there. <laughs> just just to be safe. That's just how Zelda games work, you know. You know what? Wasn't there one over here yet? Oh, oh the, that would be one because of the pathway right here. Yeah, like this is one of those things that, like, okay, you want to dig up one of these. 
Because you never know what might be there. Okay, that's how we got unlucky, but hey. Like, that's generally where they would be hidden at, and stuff like that. Look at that. Did you remember this? I remembered this. I bet you didn't. Oh, where's the cool sound? Do -do 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 -do. I want that kind of a sound. That's my ringtone. I don't remember what this place is, and that just kind of freaked me out. Um... What is that room for? Let's see what it's called. Yeah. Ah. Alright. How about we do this? No, no. I wanted it to blow up on the table. I thought I could throw it over the table. And I was panicking because it kept coming back to me. Take this bomb. Alright. You know what? Maybe. Not that. Maybe he needs a little bit of magic dust. Okay, I mean, we're just not ready for this yet. That's okay. Can we look these up? No, we're just part of the scenery. I wonder if we can pick up the things that he drops. No, nope, can't. Oh, hey, yeah, uh, chess. Ah, you're right, 50 rupees. Money's gonna be quickly become very inconsequential in this game. Oh, yes. We will definitely dig up holes in these areas. We also have to find the next dungeon anyways. Can you not dig? That's really weird to me. Okay. Anyways. Secret seashell. Okay. Ooh. Ah! No. I thought I maybe I could read something there. The door to the cabinet is hanging off its hinges. Nobody has used this thing in a while. Huh. I believe this is a a ghost's house, and it may have something to do with that that cave. Hmm. Music is beautiful, though. I think I might be able to do something with this once I get the charge ability. It makes sense because you have to use the charge ability with your jump ability to get over gaps like that. Okay. Oh, one button. We are gonna dig this up for sure because it's a very <laughs> see I'm telling you, man! Yes! You gotta like you gotta look at like important areas and look at those little weird gaps in the corners. And that's how you know something is there. I mean, there's not gonna be two seashells in the same area generally, but like that's how it, it generally works. Hmm. I had this really weird streak right here, so I'm gonna go for it. All right. Okay, now let's go to the cave real quick. Don't worry, we will get to that third dungeon.
Okay, I'm just checking what we have. Okay. Five seashells? I think you get something like, like different upgrades at different like collection points for seashells. We'll see. Oh hey, shortcuts. I love shortcuts. Actually... Never know, man. It's like basically the same thing as cutting grass, you'll get rupees, money, all sorts of weird stuff. Sometimes, like, like a, I think even guys pop out of the ground. Wait, let's see, what do we have over here? Ah, interesting. Oh, okay. Okay, now the fake wall. Up, left, up. Okay. Woo! No! I'm not gonna mess with that. I kinda missed that sound. That sound, you open up the secret entrance. Cool. Okay. Six secret seashells. Now we can move on. Shake it back, baby! Oh, did you see that? Of course you saw that, but hey. We landed right in the middle of him. Okay, one last little errand to run. Let's go get that uh, jar so that we can capture a fairy in it, and that way we've got death protection. Because of course, we'll save. We have zero deaths right there, you can see the little tombstone in the bottom left. We have had one death actually, but we started back from a previous save spot, so it would stay at zero. Oh man, look at those dodging skills. Here we go. You know, we've got a lot of money too. We can go buy the heart piece. Man, this is some of the best music design. I love cutting grass. Don't ask me why. Some, something about it satisfying. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's so expensive. You can still add into this game, but if you do that, the next time you come to the shop, he kills you, and for the rest of the game, your name's changed to Thief. It's not exactly the best thing. Right, we got our fourth piece of heart. Just got an extra heart piece now. Okay, just bone arrow. It doesn't budge an inch. I know we're supposed to be able to move that eventually. That's why I was doing that. Alright. Flower for some reason. How about some fishing? Oh yeah, we're ready. Oh good, we got a little fish over there by the jar. It'll make it easier for us to get it up. Of this fish first. Oh, 
Come on, buddy. You know you want it. Oh, I guess I did too hard. That's okay. Let's capture this guy then. Get some extra rupees and get him out of the way too, because we actually have to have him out of the way for the bottle. You rolled in a big fish. It's so heavy that you wish you'd caught something lighter. Wow, 25.58 inches. That's a lunker. Nice, here's 20 rupees. Then I'll give you a new lure for landing your first lunker. You've got the middleweight lure. Because it's the first time you've landed a fish that size, have a piece of heart. Cool. Middleweight lure. All right, let's get that bottle real quick before the fish get here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So when we're gonna be able to get it. Oh no. We have to catch him now. He's a heavyweight. He'll give us the heavyweight lore. It would be worth a lot of more rupees too. Oh, come on, you know you want to just eat this. Ooh, roll in fast. You can't, you can't really know why he's doing that, but you just kind of tap it. Oh, this guy's hard. I am slamming. I'm slamming that. Ah. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ah. Yes. Let's just get the bottle. Quick. Sink down there, little boy. Get it, buddy. There we go. I'm just gonna make sure that there's no fish that will get too close to it, attract it, and take it away from us. Do this just in time for that big fish. No, 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 no. There we go. No. You gotta be kidding me. Let's get more Ruby. Yeah. Oops, I didn't mean to push that button. I was pushing B to make the, t the text go faster. Like, instant text. Now the jar's reset too, because we ran out of money. That's the problem. Alright, we'll get the big fish. Because we have to. What we may end up having this one be is, uh... Secret seashells... And the fishing video, if it gets too long. I'm gonna make the next one... Dungeon 3. Alright. I'm not gonna break my line this time.
I am like, my fingers are getting tired. <laughs> And my fingers, man. You were a big fish. It's so heavy that you wish you caught something lighter. Whoa, 30.75 inches. That's a lucker. Nice, 23 rupees. Yes. All right, we gotta grab this bottle real quick before our fish takes its place. Or, well, before our new fish takes the place of the one we just caught. I think we'll be lucky enough because the fish over there on the right is really close. So he should we should have a good enough gap to get this bottle out of there. We'll just stay close to the ground. Alright, let's see. Perfect. Got it. You hold up a fairy bottle. That's good for storing fairies for later. That is very important, actually. Hmm. All right. Now we are set to go on to the next part of our journey. Okay, there's a couple things in here that we need to do. <coughs> Secret seashell. So I guess we can't dig up flowers. I think I remember that being an actual thing. Just checking. We do need to go in the tunnel over here though real quick. There's a heartbeat in it. The more the merrier. The more hearts we have, the better. Okay, let's see. Let's think about this. Now I want to go like this. This. Wow, that was actually... Okay, whatever, it's fine. We did that perfectly because we were able to get to the, the thing and the exit at the same time. Even though all the doors have been really obvious, at least so far, I still want to check for those false walls just in case. Also... Well, we can push this in and we can push that in, so there's no possible way for there to be anything in that corner, I think. Still makes me curious, though. We only got 24 rupees now. We did just spend like 500. Can't believe the bow and arrow though. 908 is crazy. Crazy. It's like something to spend your money on, I guess. Nice. Oh, nothing there, huh? 
right? I was expecting there to be something there. Wait, do we have... That looks ominous. How do you even little spot on it, too? I remember there being something around here, that's why I wanted to dig up that area. Okay, so... We'll go in here. Alright, cool, yeah. Now we're able to actually do a lot of stuff... ...in here that we couldn't before. Fifty rupees? Very nice. No bombs area, so nothing there. Okay. What's up here? So now, we've gotten everything there is to get up here, at least for now. Oh, I thought I could jump over it, because you can. The next thing you have to do is go to the right over here. We'll check real quick over here real fast to see if there was any- I don't think there's anything over here that we had to do. There's that rock, and that rock. Actually, there's a lot more than to do over here than I thought. Crazy Tracy's Mumbo Pond. Spot, right? Oh, I was expecting to do something there. That's how this game rolls, though. Okay, nothing going on here. Sneaky, check the chest. Wow, this is a nice chest. Tracy. Hi there, big guy. I'm Crazy Tracy. I've got a little secret for sale that'll pump you up. Will you give me 28 rupees for my secret? Sure. Alright, come here and I'll rub it on you. There, I've applied my own secret medicine. It will take effect when you lose all your hearts. Drop by again, big guy. Here's some bonus treatment. Behold, your hearts are now full. Oh, cool. I forgot about that. So, basically... I have a free revive. I think they call they call this area the prairie. Okay, we haven't been to the, the right of this. Mm. 
That's the witch's place. Which we have been to. Hey, buddy. Be careful. He's into this big thing where he likes to take his toys, and then he likes to throw them. And then watch, watch me pick him up one second. Hey. I'll get your truck for you. There you go. Don't drop them though, okay? Okay. It's like, here, Dad, I dropped this just for you. Pick it up for me, please. Let's go over here. It's almost time for his nap though too. So we've got this area down below us that we haven't explored yet. But can I actually get to it? That's the question. Whoa! Okay, we haven't been to this area yet. So give it up. So I think we went to the left. Did we explore down here? We did not. Yeah, we didn't explore here at all. This is the key to slime. One of the dungeons. shells is that nine? I wonder where the little shell place is where I can actually turn these in and start getting upgrades for. Okay, um, now I want to go here. Okay, so I can't go there. Oh wait, I've already been this way, so I've cut this grass before. We did not go in here, though. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Richard, salutations! You wouldn't know by the look of me, but I used to live in the castle. My servants went berserk, and I was forced to flee my villa. So you're looking for something, are you? I may just have exactly what you're after. But first, I want you to retrieve the golden leaf I left behind in the castle when I fled. Okay. Smashing! To tell you the truth, there are five leaves, and I want them all. Okay, you'll need to do some digging, so buy a shovel. Are you off then? Good luck! I have a shovel. Okay, nothing in that chest. I 
think we can't go in there until we've got the hook shot. I think that's how that one works. Not sure. Oh man, it takes forever to walk through grass. Just cut our way through. It's faster. So many rubies from just to just cut a grass. I feel like I get more rubies than I normally used to. Okay, now we're in. That's right. This time we knew you were there. Secret? Am I just a rock? An extra big boulder. A fairy in a bottle. Oh, yeah, you still got plenty of pet. Come to me when you're tired. I will, don't worry. I'm curious to see if there's anything in here. Probably not, though. But once I heard that there was a lot more seashells than there were before in the original game, I just like, huh, might as well just check. Yeah, eat that bomb. Eat that bomb, see what happens. Oh, I can't do anything here. Yeah. Not yet. But it's good to know what we, what's in there so that we know when we can come back. Oh yeah, that's right. We gotta go this way. Spot we haven't uh, explored yet in this area, which is directly below us. Okay. Oh, he's got a shield, so I'm gonna let him hit me first. So we can't explore that without the long, without the charge or the hook shot. Telephone booth. Okay, yeah, they're all the same. Bring, bring. It's Urara. You haven't found the five golden leaves yet. Try bombing suspicious places. Idea. Actually, we're in the wrong direction. Oh, 
Oh, we were going the right direction, never mind. I'm trolling. Oh, yeah. We've already got 140 rupees. 150 rupees. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting way more money than I usually get. Let's see if that's bubble ball. Are these bubble ball? Nope. That's why I wanted to try, uh, try a couple different things and see if they are actually bubble ball or not. The last thing we need to test is that big skull. Oh yeah, we can explore this area. Holy cow. Oh, the castle is five minutes away. I don't think I can hurt that guy. Or at least not yet. What's right here? A tree. And nothing next to it, okay. Oh, perfect. Piece of power. Oh, crazy. I just keep coming? Alright, we'll just let that be. Hey, monkey! Bananas, bananas, ooh, ooh, give it to Kiki. Oh, this is the guy that gets bananas. Bananas, bananas, oh, oh, Kiki monkeys, come, repay this man. That's who got the, who gets the bananas. Cool. It's good that we did all that stuff earlier. Monkey business done. Bye bye. You found a stick a monkey left behind. You take it. Hmm. A stick left over for the monkeys who built a bridge. Hmm. give that to him. Alright. And we can't go north to the next area, but I kind of want to see what's down here real quick. Can't go in the water yet. We can go south. Who is the secret seashell place? Cool. Seashell, seashell Mansion. And of course, there would be a seashell, seashell Mansion. Why wouldn't there be? We have 10. That's a good round number, right? I am the spirit of the mansion. I've been waiting for someone. One who can overcome the darkness. Find the secret shells, then ascend to the platform, and you will receive the ultimate sword. Sounds like you should come back with lots of shells and try standing on the platform. We've unlocked the first, the first present.
You got a piece of heart. Nice. <clears throat> so there's five gifts in total. One more piece of heart, and we've got a new heart. Yeah, boy, I can make those five rupees. Oh, I blocked that. Sign say Animal Village in Martha's Bay. Oops, I did not mean to drop my own bomb. Right, nothing's there. That guy's crazy. Dropping balls all over the place. Oh, I'm crazy. Just the wrong button. Okay, oh. He's a fake! He drops down your hair the terrier. Alright, let's just bomb this guy. There we go, you be fast about it. Guys are annoying. sound this time. Ooh, we can't come back if we go this way. Let's let's go see what's in the other area real quick first. Alright yeah, we're just gonna ignore them. They're not giving us anything. Guys, unless we've got something else. Cool. You're unlocking all the work points, which is going to be extremely helpful for traveling later. Okay, we can't go in there first. For a while, at least. I wonder when we get the jump. I like the, the dash move. Here, everybody. Jump up the grill with them and just make little corner spots like that. You just check it out like that. I think we're like one or two seashells away from the next uh, upgrade. Yeah, can't do anything on here. Let's actually do this. Let's go to the mansion real quick and see if we can get the left break. Then we'll know for sure whether it's uh, one seashell or not. Yeah, I don't really care about you guys. Okay. It might be just one seashell. Okay, so it wasn't. So we'll get a couple more shells before we do that again.
We are getting a lot done. How long has this we've been doing this one for? What we should do is probably stop right here. Uh, so thank you guys for coming in and watching today. Basically, we thought we were going to be going to the third dungeon, but we were doing a whole bunch of other little things. So we ended up getting, wow, like two, almost three extra hearts, full hearts, unlocking a whole lot of areas, and finding a whole bunch of exploration with the warp, warp, warp portals. So next time for sure, we will be going and doing uh, dungeon level three and getting onto the next area. So I feel like there's a lot more going on here to get to the next dungeons than we had, you know, in the first and the second area. It was a lot more simplified than, you know, this one is so far. Looks like we have to go around and find five golden bees. But anyways, like this video and subscribe and follow if you haven't already. I am super happy to be able to share this with you guys. And like I said before, write down in the comments um, what you like about the video and write down in the comments also what games you like to see me play in the future. Anyways. Take care, guys. Cheers.